The hand signals. This lessens uh, interruptions in the classroom because uh, it serves as an extension of the cognitive system. Therefore, students can easily manage the flow of transition inside the classroom and um, in turn, the teacher also get to have what I call the silent interruptions. So instead of uh, students raising their hands and asking to go out to the restroom, they can just use hand signals. So we do this for may I go out. I added some like for this one, if they need tissue paper. Now, I agree is something that we use during discussions. I have, oh no, um, the tissue is this one too. I have a question is this one. So I agree, I have a question and I have a comment. So this way we are also minimizing arguments during class discussions by using hand signals. I am going to put the link also below so you can download it for your classroom. Now, uh, with hand signals, you need to also mention about when they can use it, how will they use it, and how frequent can they use it. So, may I go to the bathroom, although it's a silent interruption, but they cannot do it so many times. So, you should have set those rules already, like you cannot um, raise your signals during discussions or you can only use the restroom twice in the morning or twice in the afternoon so it depends on your classroom rules okay. now the last one is the counselor walls so this is also like motivational quotes posted on your walls um, the rationale behind this is you are handing over the control to your students so instead of you counseling them, they can always refer around your classroom posted on your walls and they'll be able to hopefully um, self-regulate themselves on their own. Now, here are some examples. Teach peace. I also use this when there are arguments inside the classrooms, like uh, when when students are arguing, I'm going to just refer them to the wall. What did we say about argument? We are, we should be advocates of this. Just make sure whatever is posted on the walls, you have gone through it during the first week or it's self-explanatory. Now here are some more examples. Be the change. I really love this posted on my wall. Be the nice kid. It doesn't matter what others tell you. But at the end of the day, always be the nice skin walls. Now, this is what I like during testing. I use this during testing because some of our students, they tend to get frustrated. So bring out your magic hands. I don't understand. If you don't understand, what do you tell yourself? What am I missing? Or I give up. We always, we always hear this from our students when they look at this one they'll remember that they need to keep trying so these are small details in our classroom that may contribute to the general discipline um, and classroom management so i hope you have a takeaway from this video and again if you have some suggestions or things that you also use in your classroom classroom and are very effective please do comment down below thank you very much and for my next video we're gonna talk about how to get students engaged during activities thank you and have a great day bye bye